Hey everybody, this is Ralph shooting a video here. Uh, during our last Mastermind uh, on Saturday, uh, one of our founders in the Home Business Academy was talking about changes coming to the world of you know home-based business and promoting your business and getting leads and things like that. And there is a practice that a lot of people have used where they promote their blogs, their websites, by having just outstanding SEO, search engine optimization. And then they just sit back and let Google drive traffic to their website. And this is a method that I learned about, oh gosh, 10 years ago, and something that has worked pretty well for a lot of people up until now. But there is a big change coming to this. And this is because of AI, you know, artificial intelligence that's being added to Google search. And it's changing the way that people behave and the way that people search. You know, it used to be that you could type in your question to Google and then Google would scour the Internet in just a few seconds and then give you a bunch of websites that you could look at that would answer your question. Now, Google AI does such a good job answering the question that people don't really feel the need to go and, and, and click on a, a website. And this will begin, it already has begun actually, to affect web, website traffic. And it's, it's uh, an anticipated that in the near future, AI will cut into website traffic to other blogs by anywhere from 25% to 40%. So it's going to take a big bite out of that SEO traffic apple. Let's demonstrate it here. That's why I got Google up on my screen. I was searching on potassium. Uh, specifically, will potassium make me dizzy? And I, I found this, you know, that potassium makes me dizzy. And there, AI overview, right off the bat, we got the answer. Yes, low or high potassium levels can cause dizziness. And then it breaks it down, you know, AI, so darn smart. Low potassium, yeah, will cause dizziness. High potassium will uh, cause dizziness, let you know why. Other symptoms to let you know, you know, do you have chest pains? Do you have shortness of breath? Yeah, it could, could be because your potassium is too high. Tells you what potassium is, how it affects you. And then lastly, tells you to go see your healthcare provider right away. If you th think you've had too much potassium or not enough potassium and you are experiencing some of these symptoms. So yeah, AI's got the whole answer right there without really directing you to a website. Now, over here, it does give you some websites that you can consult for, you know, further information. But what I have found in my own browsing behavior is that I will just usually go with the AI overview and not go look at the other websites. And I didn't really think anything about that until last Saturday's Mastermind in which Paul Hutching was talking about this and said, yeah, it's, it's already having an impact and it will have an increasing impact over time. And in the near future, yeah, the traffic that you get from Google search will probably decrease by anywhere from 25% to 40%. So that's a heck of a bite in that kind of uh, traffic that we used to be getting from the Google search engine. So now, what can you do to compensate? Well, one, two things you can do. One is to focus on making videos. YouTube video is a good search engine in and of itself. And a lot of people will go to YouTube, ask their questions on YouTube, and there YouTube will direct you to the best videos that do the best job of answering that question. So if instead of just writing a blog article, 
you also shoot a YouTube video and then incorporate that video into your blog, then that will probably have a better result for you than just writing two or 3,000 words uh, on a blog and expecting that to get you traffic. You, you can do that, but also incorporate a YouTube video in your blog, and uh, that will help get you more traffic via YouTube and also via uh, Google. Another thing that we can be doing is just going back to basics, not depending on Google to send us the traffic like it used to, and actually get out there on social media and start talking to people. <laughs> you know, human to human. You know, talk to people one-on-one -on -one and, you know, just find out, you know, are they interested in our offer? Do they seem to have an, a need or an interest for any of our products? And then, if so, just, just talk to them and let them know, hey, I got this website. You want to take a look at it? And uh, just, just see what they say. But, yeah, old-fashioned prospecting human on human relationships still no replacement for that and i don't think ai is going to take that away from us so yeah youtube videos and old fashioned prospecting can help overcome this problem but yeah if you've been using seo in the past if that's been doing a really good job for you let me know in the comments down below have you seen a reduction in the number of leads that you get through SEO the number of hits on your blog through SEO and uh, yeah have you already seen this because I've already seen a difference in my own browsing behavior and I never really put two and two together until this last Saturday but yeah, I'm already, you know, looking at, at fewer websites in my Google search. I'm just going with the AI overview because, yeah, I hate to admit it, but AI is doing a really good job of answering these questions. So, yeah, we're going to have to make some adjustments in the uh, months and years going forward and continuously work on improving our game to stay up to snuff with these changes as they continue to be rolled out. Okay, this is Ralph signing out. Thanks for dropping by. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.